All right. Well, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more on Microsoft Word and how to basically get around uh, some of the formatting issues that we've had so far with APA format. It's one of those things that once you get it down, it makes it a lot easier. So, of course, we've already gone over how to create the headers and the title page, but I wanted to show you how to double space the document and how to format the reference page citation. So what I have here is a document that is single spaced. You can see that it doesn't look the way that it should. Um, double spacing basically means that it has a line of space or a line of text space amount in between each line of text. Sometimes I have students that will press enter at the end of every line. And if you were turning in a physical paper instead of an actual uh, document from your computer, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. However, it gets in the way of the grading process when you press enter at the end of every line. So it's better to actually format this correctly in the first place. So if you've already typed up your paper and it's single spaced, which is kind of the normal way that Microsoft Word sets it up when you just open up a document, you can easily change this to double spacing. So what I'd like to do is is select all the text and you can do that a number of ways. One way is to press control and then A together at the same time. Another way is to come up here to your menu bar. There's a button that says select. Click on that and cl click on select all. Sorry. Honey, it's okay. Baby's here <laughs> with us. So you can see that the text is all selected and that's how it should look on yours and then you can do a couple different things to double space first of all you can come over and right click on the text and this will open up a drop down menu and you click on paragraph go to spacing and we're going to click on line spacing and go to double and it's important to look at the spacing before and after it both needs to be zero and then you would press OK and that would double space your entire document. Notice that there's extra space in between each line of text. Another way to do this, I'm going to go over and undo that, keep my, my text highlighted, is you can come up to the menu bar and there's a button that has an arrow pointing up and an arrow pointing down with some lines next to it. This is the line and paragraph spacing button on the menu bar. You click on that you can just go down to 2.0 and to check for the extra space in between lines we don't want any extra space before or after a paragraph so these two things should say add a space add a space meaning that there is not any extra space in between the paragraphs but we're if it says remove a space before the paragraph or remove a space after the paragraph click on those because we want to make sure there's no extra spacing between the paragraphs. You can also go to line spacing options here and it will bring that box back up. So just a different way to get around it. But we're going to see that we have obviously a double spaced document. Now I'm going to scroll down to the reference page. Okay, so here is my reference page. Notice that everything's over on the left hand side. Uh, this is pretty normal if you were writing any amount of text onto your document but a reference page citation has different margins and I'd like to show you how to fix that so I'm going to just select my reference page citations just by clicking holding down the left button and scrolling through to highlight the text now to correctly format the reference page citation, the first line of each source should be flush with the left hand margin. Of course we see that there are margins, this is that gray area, that means that there's no text that's going to be typed in these gray areas, that's the margin. The um, APA calls for one inch margins, so you see that's one inch from my ruler, one inch from my ruler. If you don't see a ruler on your Word document, you can actually come up here to the menu, click on view, and then you can click on this box that says ruler and it will show you the ruler once you click in that box. So I've highlighted my text and now I want to make sure that the left or the very first line 
of each citation is on the left hand margin and then every subsequent line of the source is indented by half an inch. So how do we do that? We come up here to this little hourglass figure and we're going to click and hold on that bottom part of the hourglass and I'm just going to scroll it on over to the half inch. Notice that moves the entire text over to the right. Now I'm going to the top half of the hourglass and I'm going to move that back to my left hand margin. And that I'm just going to click on there. That is how your margin should look for your reference page. Notice there are no extra spacings in between the citations. It's just plain double spaced. Uh, but each of the sources, the very first line of the source, is toward the left hand margin. Also, the last names are alphabetized. So my first author starts with a B. F N S Z. So this needs to be alphabetized on the left hand margin, needs to be flush with the left hand margin, and then every other subsequent line needs to be indented half an inch. So that's some basic formatting for an APA style document that you might want to be able to have for your papers. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you do have any questions, feel free to send me an email or give me a call. As always, I'm here to help you be successful, and I hope that this got you there. Thanks.